And then we're going to be looking for an eventual landing. Uh, again, it's targeted to come at uh, 947 and 50 fan. There it is. So there's the Soyuz spacecraft. You're going to see some and you see some uh, some white uh, smoke coming out that's actually excess hydrogen peroxide being vented uh, from on board the spacecraft. But there we have it. Three minutes to seek. Yes, we copy. Good morning. The miss is four. Discrete is zero. Four decimal eighteen is the maximum G load. We're feeling well. Once it's a little under a meter over the ground, the soft landing engines in the very bottom of the vehicle are going to fire. And that just does the final slowing to just a meter and a half descent rate per second, or about 3.3 miles per hour. With the crew inside, they're strapped into their uh, seats. Each of the seats inside the Soyuz spacecraft has a specially molded liner for each of the crew members, just to make sure that they're as snug and strapped in as possible, as it is still a bit jarring for these touchdowns. Uh, some astronauts uh, describing it as uh, kind of a fender bender in your car, but uh, all of the seat designs and everything uh, able to keep the, the crew safe when they touch down. Again, we're tracking that to come at 9.47 and 55 seconds p.m. Central Time and hopefully get some good views of those soft landing engines fire. You should see some dirt or dust kick up uh, when it's right above the ground as long as we're not uh, looking over any folds in the ground but continuing to descend down. We're about six minutes and 40 seconds away from the targeted landing. And the beeping you're just continuing to hear is just a, a transponder beacon uh, inside the Soyuz spacecraft, uh, but they have already established voice communications with the search and recovery forces who are at this point circling around, waiting for the vehicle to touch down. You'll uh, typically see helicopters on the ground just seconds after the Soyuz itself has touched down uh, to begin uh, removing the parachute, safing the vehicle uh, to allow the remainder of the search and recovery forces to move in. It's a pretty quick procedure to get things set up and begin extracting the crew. And you see that puff of smoke, that means the soft landing engines have fired and the capsule is on the ground. So they did make it down a couple of seconds early. We're gonna call this landing at 9.47 p.m. Central Time, 10.47 p.m. Eastern Time. We are starting to see the crew members take them out uh, right now. You may actually have a better view than me, but it looks like it's Oleg Konenko first, which is usually the case for the commander. Yep, it looks like Oleg's first out, and he's going to make his way down this slide here. And here's Ann McLean. Waving to the crowd, uh, waving this to the crowd, uh, looking very excited to be back on Earth and getting a round of applause and response. And I think we have a few of Anne's friends and family here in Mission Control Houston hearing some cheers from our viewing gallery as uh, Astro Animal makes her way out of the capsule. Again, this was Anne's first space flight, 204 days in space. That's a heck of a heck of a duration for a first flight. She looks like she came through well. She looks like she's feeling pretty good right now. Mm -hmm. 
And here comes David, pulling him out now. Also getting a round of applause and giving a thumbs up to the crowd. Looking good, they're helping him down now. Hey, stand by, Brian.